It is the most anxious time of the year, finals. And for students across Canada, that means exam anxiety and test stress. But fear not, for those who struggle with science or find maths problematic, or our next guest is here to help. Joining us is Vanessa Vicaria, founder of The Math Guru, a tutoring center based in Toronto. It's great to have you here. Thank you. On what is a very timely subject. It but I, I like your story and how your interest was piqued in math. Tell us what happened. Um, well, I failed math twice in high school, um, and it's not because I wasn't a math person, but because people thought there was such a thing as a math person. So my teacher sort of felt that because I was super artsy and wanted to marry Keanu Reeves, who doesn't, <laughs> that, uh, that math wasn't my strong suit, so I sort of got pushed out. I ended up going to an alternative school um, with, with only 100 kids. It was a very different form of education. People were really creative and artsy, but also excelled in the maths and sciences. And I ended up getting a 99% that year with a teacher who really believed in me. Yeah. Um, so after that, I was sort of like, oh my God, what is going on? You know, if there are people like me that, that really are very capable but who think they're not how can we prevent that from happening to other kids teachers are so important because so all kids can learn it's just about how you reach them exactly right? okay and exactly. you're reaching a lot of people and you touched on math people there really isn't such a thing. There is no such thing, no. but the the real issue is is that there's an idea that there is such a thing, and most people buy into that. And if you don't identify with whatever that stereotype is, um, then you think that you don't belong. And that creates anxiety. So that much. creates stress right around now when many kids are preparing to write. Exactly, exactly. So basically, <clears throat> exams are a crazy time of year, but also the idea that there is a math person and that there's so much anxiety surrounding math and science is really usually not based on the difficulty of the subject, but the fact that kids think, I don't belong to that group, therefore that those subjects are going to be difficult for me. Let's get to your tips on, on dealing with that stress and sure. dealing with that anxiety. And you say the first is just realize what's actually going on. Okay, you're writing an exam not to belittle the entire process. It is not the end of the world. I cannot remember a single mark I got in any of my exams. So yes, it's going to be difficult and it's an arduous task ahead, but really it's just a test. Uh, look at it as a kind of opportunity to yes. show off everything you've learned, right? So fun. So most kids are like, oh my God, I'm gonna be tested on the whole year. How about being like, guess what? Now I get to show off everything I've learned like throughout the entire year, stuff I never knew before entering the classroom. It's actually kind of a fun opportunity. Gotta stay organized. Okay, biggest pitfall of most it's, students. It's huge. Biggest pitfall. It's huge. So most kids have eight exams. That's very overwhelming. It's a lot. Get your agenda out. It's only April now. Start planning when you're studying for what. So you're not in the middle of studying for English thinking, oh my God, I need to be studying for math. That's already blocked off on your calendar. Now is a good time to put a schedule together as though you're going to a job. Yeah, procrastination is not a good thing when Worst. it comes to this. And seek support, seek help if you need it. There's no shame in that. That's like one of the biggest things to me. So I get a lot of calls from parents saying, you know, my kid is too shy to ask for support or they feel like there's no point. They feel like they've screwed up the whole year and what are they gonna do now? There's so much support out there. Not only are there tutors, like, you know, honestly, get a tutor, now's the time. Like, especially if you haven't had one all year, this is the time to get that support, catch up on stuff that you may have missed. If you got a 30% on unit one, now's the time to get a tutor to teach you that unit. Um, but there's also other support, like ask your teacher what you can do to prepare for the exam, find peer tutoring, hang out with your smart friends, get them to teach you stuff. And you can also prepare for next year and get ahead that way. So one of the biggest things for me is if you got like a 70% in math in grade 10, that means there's 30% of the information you don't know. You, you wanna get technically up to 100% learning level. So when you get into grade 11 or the next year, you're starting off with a good foundation. So spend the summer like, do a boot camp, hang out with a tutor for one week and just catch up. You know, go over all your old tests and make sure you understand what's going on. You're great. So nice to, so <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks to you too. We'll have a link to The Math Guru on our website, canadaam.ctvnews.ca.